God mode. We've all felt it as... Checking boys and girls. What's up? How the hell are we doing today? I'm ready to stream. I'm ready to stream some poker. We doing good? Little stream. What up, Queen Bee? What up, Dennis? What up, Ryan Braun? So let me get things a few things situated here. We're in a 1K. A little bit of a poor start. Oh, baby. Online poker today. How the hell are we doing? Is life treating y'all all right? Let's put this thumbnail in there. How the hell are you guys doing? Kmart never streams. Guess what? We're live, boys and girls. We're live. Twitch, YouTube. We're in a 1K mystery bounty. Bit of a slow start. Let's get in the 150. Let's flick a bowl in the 250 daily mainer. And we're laughing. Really awesome uh, stream last stream. Banged off a nice win. What up, Glenn? There's the Twitch people. Okay, I'm in a bunch of games now. Hi, Glenn. What up? I forgot all my other accounts. Colton. Feels like a good day to get a dub. Hell yeah, man. Just feels like a good day to play like a fucking rock star. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, life's so good, man. I'm having so much fun. So many adventures. I feel really good about content. Got a bunch of new live content coming out soon. Life is good, boys and girls. Let's stream. King Queen suited here. I think this one's strong enough to min raise. Want to min raise shove? I think this one like really benefits from big blind defending actually. And if somebody reshoves, obviously we're never gonna fold this hand. If I have Queen Ten of Clubs, I'm just all in. Like King Queen suited is just so nutted to min raise. A raise and a win. Boom, boom, dun, 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 dun. Kind of a big fat beat here. Are you doing well, boys and girls? I am thriving. I feel so good, man. Was helping Peely move, hanging out with a bunch of friends. I have my um, Flights booked to the Bahamas, going to the Bahamas for the WSOP GG events. Like, really excited about that. Going to be wiring 150k down. I don't think I'm going to spend it all, but I'm going to play like the 25k, and there's a bunch of things going on. Exciting times in the poker world. Game of gold's going on. Came live, baby. Quickly get a little social media out. I can do that in five minutes. Come on, let's win! Very bad start here. I lost two annoying pots. I wonder if I overvalued one of my hands. Do you guys want to see this end? I played the ace three of hearts. Really interesting hand. Kind of a really bad luck. He raises. I just called in the small blind. We flopped two pair. Flop went check, check. On the turn, not really worried about a flush all that often. I bet a big size he's calls. River jack. I really didn't like the river. I decided to go big size on river. I bet 10k into... Like, but the thing is, is he going to hear with kings, queens, tens? Probably not. I don't really think he has like king jack or queen jack. Those usually bet flop. 
So I guess I'm trying to get called by ace four, ace five, ace six, ace seven. Not ace six, that's two pair. Like maybe my big size is too thin. I'm really not sure even on the answer. Rough tough, <laughs> A rough couple weeks to be a fan of Kevin Martin reality TV. Yo, bro, I got bounced on the traders and game of gold. I just busted all my reality TV spots. I feel you, man. Thank you for sweating, though. Fuck, it was really tough. Just bust, bust, bust. Tis the season of Kmart Online Poker. What up, Barack? What up, Grinya? What up, Arnold? How you doing, the Belkman? Suited Jack in the big blind. Yeah, I busted the traders and I busted game of fucking gold. Can you believe that shit? Definitely gonna call here. I want to use a polar uh, bluffing hand, like some sort of off suit disconnected hand. I think Jack two suit is the right hand just to call here versus the raise first in. Seven seven five. Not a very good flop for hand or range. I can't really have the over pairs. That's really small. Do we ever consider floating for one point five bigs? Um, I don't think so. If I have Jack-8 or Jack-9 suited, it's much better than Jack-2. I will just fold. Okay, late reg here. Do I want to shove button cut off high jack, low jack versus this polar range? No, I don't. No, I don't. Button cut of hijack raises. I defend. It was pure minimum. I'm going to check call small bet. This is the 150 mystery bounty. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, yes. Good afternoon. Great to see you all. Just gonna shove down here for 9.4. Gonna play the all in in late position. What up, Pete? How you doing? Hey, hey, what up, Chappelle? Nice, we got that shove through. Here we're just trying to show down the two pair. He checked turn. Yo, what's up, Chappelle? How you doing, man? Chappelle is a uh, podcaster on reality TV. He's really funny. Really hope he shows down his like ace ten, ace jack. Uh, really small bet. Check turn small bet. Tens jacks. There's some kings, some flushes. Ah, oh, it's just a small bet though, bro. Just like a king that checks turn. Fuck these small bets, like 2.6 to win 14. Ah, I'm just a payoff wizard versus the small bet. Boom, just kidding, we're good. Too many pseudo connectors that check turn bluff forever, I guess. Mm, mm, yes, yes. What's up Chappelle, how you doing my brother? That was tragic about the game of gold, I literally... So we filmed game of gold over a year ago, so like the trauma has reduced. But like, god damn, man. You guys don't understand how upset I was about Game of Gold. There's more that happened. I kind of got edited out of the show. Like, they only show like two or three hands I played. It was really fucking tragic. The fact that I had a bad showing and then like my team busted like that. And then also from a TV perspective to lose Kuhn, Negrano, me was just like so tragic. It's really, really heartbreaking stuff. A tragedy. Can okay, we hear about the explosion at uh, at Niagara Falls? No, I haven't heard about this. Does not sound good. We got five games going. Quickly send out some social media, grab a fresh cup of coffee, and we are rolling. Everything looks good. Levels. Been like, still like working on building the stream setup. Again, I apologize for the lighting, the cameras. All this shit isn't in its final form. I'm live streaming 
poker on GG poker. Twitch.tv slash Kevin Martin. You can also watch on YouTube. Thank God they changed these like rules and we can just stream wherever we want. Makes the experience a lot better because a lot of people like YouTube, a lot of people don't, a lot of people like Twitch. There. Should we just win some money today? I bet's big, get shoved on. Dude, the game of gold was just absolute tragedy. Puts it in. Ooh, it was bluffing. Juan was bluffing. Not many people watch on Kick, but I'm there. Kmart Poker is live on Kick. There, you can watch. Watch where you want. Okay, I'm gonna grab a fresh cup of coffee, boys and girls. Should we watch Game of Gold on break? Seems like the appropriate thing to watch. People love the show, bro. I, I really wish there was some format changes, but for season one, they've obviously knocked it out of the park. But I kind of wish it was more like um, Survivor. I wish there were some votes and stuff. I'll be right back, guy. Previously on Game of Gold. Welcome to round two of Poker After Dark Game of Gold. Heads up, team battle. He will want the points. I know he's greedy about the yeah. points. You also you have know. the most coins. You could, what if you knock everybody out today? It's good if for you. People. The more hands you play against uh, no. weaker opponents, the more you win on the long run. I'm going with it. I just don't agree yeah. with it. Always a You played the ages. Me too. I'm on it. I'm on it. I mean, he was check raising me light, you know. I'm 100% sure he was bluffing, but I couldn't do anything. Then I lost a big pot, and then blinds just went high. And
Yo, does Yo make this call? I like her size. Does he hero it here with the queen high? Yo is looking so like a boss on the show. Just take a time out, Johan. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> Good call. Why the f didn't you do that against me, Johan, when I had it? <laughs> what did he have? I called with Queen High on Game of Gold. Turns out not to be good. Okay, here we go. Why wasn't my Queen Hall good? High call good. Okay, we're gonna open threes here. Off of just 25 bigs in the 1k. What's up, everybody? I think we do the one big blind bet here. With how shallow stacks are on King Eight Deuce, I'll bet big blind. He calls turn Ace. I might be interested in bluffing. Like, there's not a lot of Deuce X that we beat anyway. But I do have the offsuit Broadways. He just has very few Ace X. Nah, we'll just check. We'll just check. Sitter and barreling. Really sucks to lose to an eight here. But there are a few hands we beat. There's some suited deuces. There's some queen jack calling on the flop. Really sucks to lose to an eight. It says, come on. The man had an eight. If I size small shove river, it's really tough with how short he is. 1K is not going very well to start. We're gonna raise king seven suited here. What's up everybody? How the hell are we feeling? We're just getting going here. Gonna have a nice session today. We're doing well. We're having a really good year. We're having a really good year. Current balance at 41,000 US dollars. Real cash money. Large three up. We're gonna fold to the size. And we have 18 bigs gonna raise from early position here in the 1K. Welcome everybody in Twitch, YouTube, kick. Hi, hi, hello. When is Kevin going to stream? This guy's given up on streaming. He's not a streamer anymore. Once in a while, boys and girls, I will come live and stream. This happens. Got to got to realize I'm just like on every reality show in the world right now. Like these things take time. I've been filming a bunch of shit. Okay, we're raising there and we're going to be all in here in the 250 daily mainer, which is a good spot, but Button quickly puts it in. A bad one to see. How about a queen? A 10. Now we need a queen. Ugly sights here going into the river. Okay, we bust the 250 daily main. I raise here small blind flatted. I like checking the flop and I like checking the turn as well. Ace high. Sucks to get pipped by like ace nine suited, ace ten offsuit here. We do have enough showdown value with the ace five. Ace jack suited pips the hell out of me. I think I can open the king ten off of 16 here. Nah, let's go with the king j. Socials are out, baby. Time to fry. I don't think I've won a pot yet. I haven't played many hands. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've scooped a pot. I don't think I've felt any chips in my hand. Still got 15 bigs here. Five tables.
How tragic was Game of Gold, boys and girls? God, I was gonna have so much fun on the show. And like... The show's fun as shit, don't get me wrong. But they needed some characters, man. They needed some characters. Like, there's a bunch of great poker players, but there's not a lot of great TV characters. I think it, it really hurt the show losing Kuhn, Negrano, and me, like, really badly. Okay, we're gonna min-raise here in the 150 uh, mystery bounty. Ace, King, Suden. Love the mystery bounty. Love-hate relationship is probably accurate. A couple sixes on the button here. He's really eager about the spot, but... Facing the under the gun open. I still might take it. Poker embassy under the gun. Probably take eights. Very, very, very close. Okay, raising here in the 108. I race, he calls. Kind of an awkward spot. I'm going to start with a check. And I really think I'm going to bluff down here. I just don't think he ever checks a strong hand, and we're just like far enough down in a range where we should start bluffing. Interesting river. Now we just check. Hopefully, beat Ace King, like Ace King of Spades, that check turn, those kind of things. Show me the winner. 27 bigs. Nice. Semi bluffing, and we got there. Nice hand. I raised from early position. I checked the flop. Must start bluffing now. I don't think we're going to get check ripped on. But yes, we must start bluffing now. River 8. Really, really bad river. Just in the sense that, like, I don't take any 8s with this line. Like, even if I check flop with an 8, I probably check the turn with an 8. And he has a lot of ace -X. Also, having these cards is not good. If I bet here I want Jack-10 to fold, I just think we have to just yield. I just think he win. I think he win. My man just wins in that spot. Have you cashed out anything yet? No, dude. To be fair, you deposited 40k last month. Yeah, I kind of did like a mini bankroll challenge, but to be honest, I haven't played a ton online. We're doing uh, very well online this year. Oh, this guy limps off of 10. That's very bizarre. So disappointed to short run a game of gold. Me too, man. Me too. This guy limps. What is this limp off of 10 BBs? So bizarre. Kamer, how's your experience on the show? It was so cool, man. Like, what an amazing opportunity, right? But obviously way too short-lived. This guy raises 3.5x. I think this is one we could bluff with, actually. Versus Elpisee. We'll just peel them. Not the best flop here. Yeah, man, I learned so much from Jay Coon, Dean Eggs, hanging out with him. I soaked up so much information. Cut off raises I defend. I had a bad mentality going into the show. I didn't think I was on their level. Like, I had a bad mindset. You know, it's like literally my idols. Maria Ho, Jason Coon, Fader Holtz, like Charlie Carroll, like, like, the, like... These guys are fucking legends, you know what I mean? And like my spin-up story, in my mind, I, I almost thought they were all better than me, which is the wrong mentality to had to have. Cut off raises. Ace 10, I think for quarter I can call this one. Pretty good card for my range. I'm gonna have more 
flushes, straights now, these kind of things. And do I just try to win with Ace-10 high? Yes, I don't think I bluff. There's a lot of different things we can find bluffs with. I think I try to win with Ace-10 high. Ace-10 high. Yes, we do win. That's what we call on the flop. We can't just yield. A couple of eights over here. So yeah, I ate shit, man. They didn't really show it too much. Like, they kind of cut out a bunch of hands, but... I mean, my queen high hero call was wrong. I folded, Charlie bluffed me as well later. I'm just gonna rip here. Combination of 22 bigs and then the flat. I'm gonna rip the 30 here. And it should be a really a clean spot. Especially this guy's gonna be three bidding like tens plus. So maybe he flatted nines. Maybe he flatted tens, but like tens like love to three bet get in these kind of short stack situation spots. So I mean, maybe clear as day. Rip. Picking up all these chips very valuable. This man said, hey, Kevin, good luck. Got the stream up. Hey. GL, GL to you as well. We're both struggling here in the 1K. Okay, on the button, we're going to open to a bigger size. The thing that hurt me, there's a couple reasons why busting Game of Gold really hurt me. Like, A, I felt like I was going to be really good on the show. I felt like I was going to talk a lot of shit. I mean, I was there for one episode and they used like how many of my DRs, like my narration. And where I felt there was a lot of poker players there, I didn't really necessarily think there was a lot of TV personalities there. And for the sake of GG, like the producers were like so heartbroken our team left, obviously for Kuhn and, and Negrano and Soiza, but like the producers like, bro, like you're going to make a show. And I was like, yes, that's what I do, dude. Like I know how to make TV. And the fact that they lost that I think was really upsetting, but. It was in Korea, yeah, we filmed in Seoul, Korea. I raise button, we get three bet, I'm not gonna peel. And so we're out here in the streets, grinding. No limit, hold them. How did this money get in? Pre-raise, three bet, four bet, shove. Got in post flop. Raise three bet call. Check bet two bet call. Bet call shove river. Wow, what a bluff to take. What a bluff. Two bet and flop and then just went ham. I kind of like it actually. It's really spicy. It's really spicy. And the other thing is the spot, bro. It's half a million USD for first. Half a million. Like, that is a lot of money. And almost everyone on the show is, like, way richer than me. That would have been some savage coinage, man. Threes. For 13.7, give the eight bigs. I think we shove this. I think we shove this. If there was a bounty on my head, I would fold this. But I believe we can uh, shove this all in. Appreciate that. The show is ass without your team. Only yo. The rest are nerds. That's what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to talk shit, shit to the other people, but like, there's. Where's the juice, bro? They're going to. Like, once. Like, they're going to struggle without team clubs to make the show. We were fun. I raise here, both blinds call. Um, could go either way. Probably betting a little more with a diamond in my hand. Checking a little more without a diamond. Fuck, man. Like, Soiza got so unlucky to bust round one like he did. I mean, he kind of bluffed it off as well. And then... I don't know. I kind of got unlucky, plus didn't play the best, and then Negrano had a chance to save us, and then and then Kuhn got unlucky. Like, we just lost every all-in. We lost every all-in. So brutal. 1k. I could see this being a hand I take. Um, all-in versus cutoff. Yes. Yes, I am.
Easy shove versus a Brazilian opening the cutoff. With ace, 10 offsuit. That's not great for him to dunk it in. He tanked, hopefully it's eights. Well, he took ace, 10 suited. Eights. 10 ball. This is not a good spot for me. Jack. Oh, how do we get that out there? No 10. Boom, we're still alive in the 1K. That is very fortunate. Not a good spot at any point. Rip off the jack, hello. That's fucking massive, guys. I was not gonna rebuy in this 1K, and I am definitely prefer to have the 1K on the stream, of course. Boom. Hopefully that is a sign of things to come. 10-9, I will raise the 10-9. I'm gonna raise to a bigger size because I'm committed versus uh, a big blind shove anyway. Hopefully big blind just has a muck, of course. Yeah, I can't raise fold for eight bigs. So might as well put a little more juice on it. Now I have stone, nothing, but I'm still gonna bet, like, I'm going to bet a big. There's some as a nice. Okay, I got super lucky there, and now we just have a chance. Have a chance in the 1K. Couple of tens. Got Nemeth on my left now. Dude, how do we rip off the jack there? That was fucking beautiful. Okay, he's in for four. Too bad there's no bounties till in the money. A flip. And we win that one as well. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, back to starting stack in the 1K. Button cut off hijack low jack. I'm gonna raise. B aggressive. I three bet bluff from the big line. He raised. I three bet bluffed from the big. And I'm gonna go small. Kind of just a good hand to three bet bluff with. Oh, and now the world is our oyster. Could bet small rip river. I think that's what I'll do. Straight flush draw. I have a king high straight flush. I have a king high straight flush in this pot in the 108. Boom, that is a rare poker hand. I'm all in. I have to show that one. You have to show, you gotta treat the table. You gotta show the, the king high straight flush. I like bluffing from the big blind. Interesting pot here in the 1K. I raised, button called, big blind called. I checked, button bet tiny, like quarter pot. Call, call. We have a medium flush. We have a medium flush. I definitely don't think I can value that. How could I value that this spot? It would be bold. Fuck, I just, uh, how could he bluff here? How could he overcall Bet River? So savage. Price is so good. I think I have to fold. I think I have to muck it, man. 
Even for this price, like how could he bluff? Pretty good. Pretty good to make a flush, lose no more money. He flopped it. Wow, it was dead. That was really good. What a great hand by me. I'm gonna, uh, guys, I flopped top pair and a flush. I lost 1.5 big blinds. I was dead in a hand where I should have lost more money. I lost 1.5 bigs. That is a huge victory. Sometimes losing the min just feels better than winning a lot. Button cut off hijack, low jack. Gonna defend. Pretty good flop, could play lead. I think I will play lead. I think I will play lead here with top top and um, Just he has to continue with his ace has that are almost dead. Yeah, he has sevens plus. But he never has four or five. That's really interesting. Just a really big raise, hey? Does put my hand in kind of a tough spot. This is fucked up. The leads, man. I put myself in a bit of a weird spot with the lead. I don't think it's bad. I just fold. That's so brutal. Maybe I three bet the flop. Really tough. There's so many different ways it could have gone in that hand. Tough. Back down to just 30k. Okay, we're gonna raise ace queen here in the 108. Putting in a lot of money like that and then folding. It's just not a good idea. It's not how you should play poker. Also, well, chill in the chat. What up, Ryan? Mystery bounties come to play when you make the money. What up, Peelin? Hello, Blicky. Marie had the best fold of the tournament. She timed it with the queens. I'm not a fan of the team format. Yeah, I, I mean, it was a really good show. I wish they would have changed a few things. I think the team format was good for round one. Then they should have definitely gone solo. And I also think there should have been some social dynamics. There should have been some strategy, some votes. There should have been some shit going on. Couple of kings on the button. Did you see, guys, did you see how I was the first one on the set and I was looking for like an immunity idol? Did you see that? I was like turning over the chairs. I'm like, where's the advantage? I was like, where's the immunity idol? I loved it. Oh, great all in spot here with the king king. This is a spot I would take with a variety of hands. Button cut off hijack, low jack. Raises, swan, flats. All of it from me, baby. Give me some action, Juan. Nice, that's very pair heavy. Ace, queen, beautiful spot. Come on, kings. One queen is enough. Small cards. Okay, and the spade is really nice. No ace, no queen. We're going to win on most of the cards here. So that is a winner. Boom, baby. Boom. Up to 65k. Yeah, he is a very easy snap when it gets back to them. Come on. Let's go in the 1k mystery bounty. Let's go. Straight flush. Hey, Kev, good to see you. What's up, men? Wow, how you doing, everybody? I don't have my main camera set up. Look, 
I got this like cool little neon light thing set up. Dude, moving and getting your new environment set up is a hell of a process. I'm trying to be patient with it. A little by little, we're peeling things back and man, I'm so happy. A lot of people are like, how's Peely doing? How am I doing? Peely's doing awesome. She's helping her move the other day. She's doing fantastic. She's traveling the world right now. She's in Bali. I'm doing awesome as well. Hired a new time, uh, a new full-time kid on our uh, content team. Shit's great right now, man. We're just really starting to cook. Um, I'm going to bluff here. I talked to Eugene, and we're going to roll a low-frequency bluff versus uh, Tolino. Could go a tiny bit smaller just because we're so shallow. Could go to like 6.5. Tolino, Tolino. Guys, the big blind bluff. It's always so tempting. Okay, button opens here in the 108. I defend and he bets big. Gonna check call with king three. We might have to hang our, uh, oh, we might just have to hold on here in this spot. Flopping top pair versus a button range. Gridden's aggressive player. Plays a lot of hands, a lot of caches. GG master. We're just going to hold on. We're going to hold on. I'm going to call, so there's going to be 36 in the middle. Hold on to what you got. Doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. That's an interesting card. We now chop with King-10, King-Jack, all these other kings. Uh, it's got to be a really good card, but I do think he's going to shut down a lot of bluffs on the 8. Losing that King-Queen, Queen-Queen, Ace-King, King-8, Queen-8, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, when he bets here, he's just always going to shove. I will click the call button. I'm very worried about ace-king. Aces. King-queen. Queen-queen. I don't think he's going to have an eight all that often. But he can still shove, like, king-jack, king-ten, all this stuff. Kind of brutal. I feel like we lose a lot, but how do I fold? He's bluffing. He's bluffing, boys and girls. Boom. Big pot in the 108. We're winning some big pots right now. Spicy fella went for the triple barrel. Bang, bang, bang. Even on this river. Good one to have. Like, uh, it's not the best hand to bluff, but at least he doesn't have diamonds. And now I have heaps in the 108. The more important story is our new life here in the 1K. Forty bigs. Opening low jack. Poker embassy. What flag is this? Top top, I think I want to start building a pot here with this high equity hand. Single race pot versus in position flat. I do need to work on this spot. Especially without a club. It's never I'm gonna have queens or kings here. King, queen, three, three, the only hands we really lose to. Turn would have been Quite nasty. Threes, UTG seven. Give me a fold on a relatively tough table. Nine seven, given that I cover both, it's like a pip wide, but look, antis are kind of big. Let's get after it. Dude, I'm so excited for Bahamas. So excited for the Bahamas. I can't wait. Can I win a bracelet in the Bahamas? Guaranteed highest bounty is 
I guess it's a small field Wednesday. They used to just run these on, I guess they're doing the mystery bounties every day now in GG Poker. You guys, I'm so excited for the Bahamas. Who's going to be there? Pack the sunscreen. WSOP GG Poker Bahamas. I can't wait. Eight four for the minimum. No. Hundred twenty five K guaranteed. Hundred twenty players. Surely it will be reached. God, I really have good feelings about the Bahamas this year. Obviously, I wouldn't fly there with bad feelings about the Bahamas, but something, something, there's some, 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 some synergy in the air. Some alignment of energies. Let's go over here to the 150 mystery bounty. <clears throat> Queen Jack suited this a hand. We're going to want to open shove. If Fugazi raises... We have a decision. Now, easy shove here. Pick up the chips. If not, the hand should perform decently well. It's the 150 mystery bounty. All right, this guy raises from really position, decides to check the flop, which is really interesting. Um, why does he check the flop? That's so weird. I guess we just bet big. One thing that does scare me is like the pocket jacks check the flop. I think we bet big to set up that river shove here in the 54 deep stack turbo. Kind of a really bad run out. Ace King check flop call turn versus over bet. Mm, is he really gonna call turn? Probably two over sketch shot. I'm all in. But I'm not super thrilled about it. That makes sense, I guess. We're gonna jump with the 500 bounty encore. Guys, we won this tournament last time we played it. Five hundred bounty encore. Sixes, I raise, call. This guy squeezes, but kind of a small size, considering uh, the dynamics. So let's call. Hunt the devil flop, no. It's a really good spot to set mine in position versus a smaller squeeze size. We have some back doors here, but Ooh, that might just, that's a, you know, that quarter, the quarter P might just get me in there. Might be enough ace, queen, ace, jack, we beat 6-6 six, six with a club. Okay. Mr. Diver. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, in the 1K, definitely gonna open King 6 suited here. Button cut off hijack low jack. Opening is fun. Opening hands is healthy.
Poker Embassy Flats. Button cut off hijack. I open low jack. Ugh. Okay, bounty encore. I limp. He checks. It's a really good turn. He still has some Asex. He still has some King X. That is a premio turn card. Now we just triple barrel it off, probably. This is where in Solverland I should probably be using overbets, but I'm just like too much of a weak rag to really include that in my game. Just have to overbet here, right? We also chop with uh, Ace. Wow, chop it up. Both had an extremely strong portion of our range there. Oh, what happened here? Cooler. Guy gets a full double up. Nasty cooler. Button raises. Big blind three bets calls. Flop top set versus a six. Bet call. Bet could have folded turn. Didn't. Makes trip sixes and faces the music. Wow. Top set. Bet, bet. Interesting. His turn call is very, very wide. He got punished for it. Not saying it's bad. Cut off raises. I could shove or I could flat. Both seem appropriate given his activity here. I think I'm just going to rip and uh, be happy with that decision. This is the 55 stack. Not our biggest buying, but trying to put full effort and concentration in all the tournament spots. Good to be streaming right now, boys and girls. Great to see you all. If you guys are on YouTube, just drop me a sub. I have a new live video coming out tomorrow. Got a bunch of new shorts up as well. If you're on Twitch, drop me the follow. If you're on Kick, fuck you. Just kidding. We love Kick as well. I'm surprised how few people choose to watch the show there. People are just people prefer YouTube and Twitch right now. But I like the kick, man. I like the kick as well. Okay, Encore here. I'm going to usually pure three bet here because of how deep we are. So I'm going to go for the three bet here. Okay, last time we played this tournament, we shipped it for seven Gs. Knocked out the majority of the field. It was a hell of an event. Just take it down. King Queen suited. I was out of the gun button calls. Just small size in here. Sorry, big blind calls. Biz kit. Okay, King Queen in the 1K. Stacks are getting shorter now. Hijack raises. We have hands we want to shove here, but not really this one. Does well keeping their King 10 off in, their Queen 10 off. Hijack opens. Defend. Top pair, monotone board. Though he's not going to have a lot of flushes. He bets 3.3. I'm not even going to check raise go with it. There's seven bigs in the middle. Like, I'm not going to really fold many turns anyway, unless it comes a spade. If the money goes in, the, the tummy gets a little bit queasy, but I, I'm just going to check race go with this hand. And, like, he'll still stack off with king queen, like ace jack with a spade, king jack with the king of spades. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go with this hand.
Yeah, we just win right there. Nice. We win a three bet pot there. And guess what? We make two pair here. Hell yeah. Now he checks the turn. What the fuck does that mean? He probably has some showdown, like king queen, king jack, king two. He probably bluff. He also has like jacks. So how do we get the most here? I don't think he has a high value ace. I think we tease and tickle him. We give him the tease and the tickle, and then he's going to be like, oh, I have king jack. Sure, I call. Oh, I have king jack. Sure, I call. Oh, I have king ten. Sure, I call. Come on! We're fucking here, boys and girls, making some reads. We are here. Such interesting spots today. There have been some very interesting spots. The poker brain feels nice and fluid. The juices are running. Thinking through it quickly. Just wait till I, I mean, just wait till I play full time here and, and stop filming reality TV shows. Who knows how many tournaments we could win? No, I need to hit the lab. I need to do a lot of work still. But I'm telling you, we're still having a really good fucking year, man. Uh, Jack eight will be a raise on the button. Bottom of range. I'm going to raise it up. Mr. President here. Kelvin quickly puts it in. Jesus, Kelvin, you got it. Chill out. Gonna flat over here. I have a nice stack in this 108. Because that guy was bluffing with Jack 10. Just decided to flat this time. We have caught a piece. Check. He checks back, that's really encouraging news. I was playing against Vanessa K in 2016. Yeah, Vanessa started, uh, shout out Vanessa K, she started in Calgary. I played a lot of 1-2 versus her, a lot of tournaments. Good for her, man. She had a glow up. She lost a ton of weight, and now she's just like doing good things in the poker room. Raising here in the 1K. Every time we have a hand in the 1K, I'm going to show it. Because it is the 1K. I've been really going for these opens. I just can't help myself. Got to go quarter in this spot with this hand. He flats small blind. All right, take it. Yeah, Vanessa Cade. Started in Calgary. She had beef with me many years ago, which was kind of ridiculous. I thought she was way out of line. She probably thought I was way out of line. But, honestly, glad to see her uh, doing well. It's good. Someone changes their life for the better. Becomes a kinder, softer person. Makes a ton of money in the poker world. Like, go on. Who am I to cheer against you? Lost a couple small ones, chilling here. We're also in the 150 mystery bounty. Beautiful King Jack suited, UTG7.
Just fall into Juan. Juan Domingo. Yeah, we can go small here. I'm sure there's a lot of gut shots and stuff, but 7 4, deuce disconnected. Quarter. We'll give him the quarter P. Some of these boards I would check back more, but the 7 deuce 4 disconnected Rochelle. It's going to be a pure bet to a small size. And sometimes the players come after it. And da, da, da. You hate to fold these like tiny little raises. You really do. You really do. I think we just peel, man. I think we just peel. 1.9 bigs in position. You just you peel and hit the jack. Like what are you like? How am I supposed to fold there? How am I supposed to fold? It's poker in 2023. Bet king jack high. No backdoor flush draw. Call small raise. Bang off the jack. What a turn card. I call. 88%. Boom! Vabo! Let's go! He had a pair. Good thing I turned a pair. Massive. Got us to a very bad start. We've been pretty lucky in a couple of hands. We're 85k in the 1k. Good shit. Good shit. Again, appreciate everyone tuning in. What up, Michael L. Patrick Kmart? Did you win the tournament on GG Club yesterday? You had heaps of big blinds. I was blasting away, my man. I'm going to play the club tonight as well, I think. I will. More. Shout out to GG Poker Club. Guys, if you want to play uh, cash games, tournaments, uh, I play in a GG Club. It's an Alberta club, North America. Uh, I know the people running it. It's real money games. I'm in there blasting. I'm down so much money in the PLO. But it's okay. I don't, like, I don't mind being a blaster to the community in the cash games. Exclamation club. If you want, it's really... I'll, I'll be playing it later tonight as well, after the tournaments. A7 of hearts. Not a very good flop. 10, 4, 6. What a bit small. If I get raised, I don't mind, like, bet fully in this amount of equity. Turn king. Should be a pretty high percentage barrel for me, but I have much better hands to bluff. I don't want to have the 7 here. When I bet, I want like 7-8 to fold 9-7. Also, my suits are really bad, so all those reasons, I think I just uh, check. I think I just check. Okay. Five hundred encore. Interesting if small blind shoves. I'm an open cutoff. I really like poker. I'm a really, really big fan of this poker game. Good flop, cutoff versus big blind. Pretty much I was betting. Encore! I love the High Roller Bounty Encore. Many happy memories. My last YouTube video was me uh, shipping this thing for 7 Gs. It's domination too. I knocked out almost everyone at the final table. In the title I said, knocking out every player at the final table. It wasn't really true. I knocked out almost everybody. People were like, clickbait. Why do you clickbait? Suited ace in the big here in the 55 stack. Will you bet the Deerfoot in January? Probably. I have my next two months planned out. I'm going to Edmonton next week to make some content, play some tournaments. Will I be in the Deerfoot? Ah, probably. 
Um, button cut off hijack. I should call sometimes, shove sometimes. Let's talk to our old resident buddy, Eugenius. I'm going to shove like 30% of the time. Eugene says, grip it and rip it. All right, brother. I'm in. Why do I shove here? He just has so much like Jack-10, King-10 off that we just win very often. Uh, and their hand will do well versus calls. Good call, Eugene. That's why we uh, keep him on the payroll. He knows when to take those spots. Yo, do you guys... For some reason, recently I've been obsessed with like... Power, power dynamics, movies that involve power dynamics. I've been watching a lot of gangster movies, bro. You guys watch these things? Casino, Goodfellas. I was just watching The Godfather the other day. I've never seen The Godfather before. Poker Embassy with the limp. I will uh, complete the Jack Six of Diamonds. I always remember wanting to be a gangster. That scene where he like takes his girl, walks through the kitchen, everyone's saying hi to him. What do you do? I do construction. Couple of eights here on the button. We're grinding. Mm, this guy min raises. I'm gonna be shoving, but it, there's some concerns, but there are some concerns. The spot appears to have less fold equity than normal, but still you can't you can't can't not take this spot. Really thought he was never folding. It's a flip though. Date with an eight. Can I rebuy at least? Oh yeah, still got 34 minutes to rebuy. Okay, we lose a flip there. Doing pretty good in the high stakes. I'm gonna take a quick little break, you guys. I'm gonna go eat some food. I'm streaming all day today. Thank you very much. Again, if you can hit me with a follow on Twitch, the sub on YouTube. Got a bunch more content coming out. We're working on a lot of uh, interesting stuff. I'm going to leave you with a Game of Gold episode. New Game of Gold. I was on this show, and uh, it did not go very well. It did not go very well. I will be right back. Cheers. How would I king three in that hand? Uh, he had seven. Seven, ten, ten. Jack, eight. He had a seven. He has a seven. Almost. Oh, oh god. Why? Why did why nine seven? No. I mean I think that's been our biggest mistake so far, but it's all good. She hasn't made too many. Mistakes. Five six eight. Come on, five six eight. Five six eight, five six eight. Like I I I'm sorry. Yeah, great poker players. And like Olga's super hot. Yo's good, but like, like a lot of these, they, they, there's a lot of these characters aren't the best cast. I'm just gonna say it. They're not. They're not personalities. They should have gotten like Alex Botez. They should have gotten like they needed. They needed people to create TV. They're just like so. Their demeanor's so chill. Anyway, I won't talk any more shit. I, I gotta talk some shit. I sucked on the show. Like, what do you want from me? I need my moment. Pretty much. Like, there should be bigger reactions here. Well, it looks like we're going to have to battle tomorrow. Yo, just wiped them all out. I'm a big Olga fan. Give Olga. I mean, we still have a chance. You know, it's not over, so we will fight to the end.
I mean, thanks God, we will not fight versus Johan, you know, so after, after him, all teams, all other teams are good for me. Still, I think so still. cool, so cool. I think I feel manipulated, actually. Good job, <laughs> yay! <laughs> tilt, uh, how, Way how, to how much you tilt? Don't tilt like that. I selection you for your personality, not for your uh, skills. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot. Just don't act like that. Good I job. mean, I didn't. It didn't click with me that like it's like a massive difference between like playing first today and playing first tomorrow. Or pretty big difference, it's not massive. There is a big way, but then you get to play two more seconds and uh, I get to play almost no time tomorrow, so I accept I accept to sacrifice also Eevee. Yeah. Which you didn't Don't, don't which... talk about Eevee sacrifices, please. I am the superior heads up player. I'm the one who should have first choice, not him. He should he should be grateful that I let him get a first at all, from my point of view. And, and the thing that really triggers me is he doesn't seem to see this like disconnect here and he got the best possible result for himself. And now he's trying to tell me, oh, like you should be cool jungle. No, no, no. Like this is, this is the real trigger is that he just doesn't get it. Uh, I'm just like, what, what is wrong with this guy? Like he's like happy and now he thinks he can take up, take his pedestal of self-righteousness. I let's mean, flip. I, I would let's, be, let's I, flip I, next time if it. you want, but you you would, you did better what job do you mean by not flip. Flipping. Yeah, let's yeah, flip for everybody. What do you mean with, fucking flip? Shut up! Seconds. Like, no, what? no, no, no. What do you mean flip? I'm like clearly the most Bro, experienced heads up don't, player. Don't 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 go too harsh uh, when you are first and just seconds. shut the f up. Actually, no, oh. she doesn't say she doesn't say anything, and you are like complaining about shut something. Shut up! You are being aggressive. Just go f yourself. Okay, hey, come on. I like that. He didn't want equality between him and me, and I accept that. He didn't want that I play uh, first and second, and him first and second, like that to make it to make it equal. Because he say he is the best player. But now that I won all three matches, he's like, oh, you won so many gold coins, you tricked me. What the f I'm playing against those opponents. I don't know. I, 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 he's my friend, like outside of here. But he's just like acting in a way where I'm like, am I friend with this guy? Like, am I really friend with him when he's acting like that? Jungle just got it in his head that we tricked him. And it's like, no man, we agreed to this. You agreed to this. Honestly, I was like annoyed by him the whole time. Like he's being super arrogant right now and like a big fucking baby. I'll go to the bathroom so you can be alone. Uh, it's whatever. But it's okay, like, it's all right. I'm not mad at you. I know, I, I know. You. No, I know, I know, it's okay. I'm the only re the main okay. reason I'm mad is just because I made a, a little bit of bad decision and then now I have to listen to the nonsense. Like. The, the, the triggering is the nonsense. That's the that's the triggering. I get it. It's upsetting not to play. I wanted to play too, but you're gonna play all that's three. That's not why. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. Anyway, Ron, I can read the spiritual book. Triggered as. F Ugh. All right. Yes, yeah, so all the terms say one day. Whenever I watch Joe Pesci on Home Alone, you don't look at him the same. I know, dude, I've been watching all these gangsta movies. I like The Sopranos a lot. I need to watch The Sopranos. I want to watch all the good ones. Been watching that show, Kevin. You were awesome. Thanks so much, Bradders. Appreciate that. Any Scorsese movie. Casino, it's, casino is a great movie. My favorite line in Casino is when the guy was explaining casinos. We sell dreams for cash. What a fucking cold ass line. We sell dreams for cash. That's what casinos do. What up, Dylan? What's the name of the club, GG? It's called Poker Arena. Poker Arena. Highly recommend. The action is like really good in there. versus the shorties. Okay, any one players left here? Still some time to... Like, excuse me. A little yawn. Pretty much busted this one. I'll read that. It's snowing outside. My 
last uh, 100 chips went in this pot. Yo, Super Small Balls, what's up, Joey? How you doing, my brother? Get ready to rebound in the 150, raising ace queen in the 500. little three bet. Can appeal the three bet? Three bet's off at 25. It's been pretty tight. But yeah, I can't uh, fold this hand to this tiny little three bet. Let's peel, flop, gin. Here we go, buckle up. Two overs and clubs. Go. Hopefully, folds. Folds are great. Folds are magical. You threw that bluffing, right, buddy? Fold is definitely the best result. Tenos. Boom! What a pot in a three bet pot. To win that way is just beautiful. Massive. 100K, you know, you guys. 100K. Squeezed over here. Raise flat. I'm going for the squeeze. Beautiful. 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 Took a little while to warm up today, but we're fucking frying out here today. We're doing really good stuff. We're doing some really good things in the poker cup today. Like that's massive, man. To get the bet fold in there, the jack high flush draw. <clears throat> oh, the music's too loud. Sorry about that. One of the keys to poker, you guys, is to get your opponents to fold, because then you win the pot. Write that down. I was gonna shove here. Yeah, bounties don't start till you're in the money, you guys. Jungle comes across as a madman. Guys, the, the man calls himself the jungle man. Like, what do you expect? He is a little bad shit crazy. Jungle is a little bad shit crazy, as am I. Gonna shove here, 12 bigs, five bigs. Just the right hand to, uh, to shove. People love Jungle Man on the show. Jungle's bringing the action. He's, he's sleeping. He's yelling at people. Jungle's bringing the juice. The entertainment. Olga's bringing the looks. I know who won, but I don't really know what happened after I left, so it's kind of fun to see, but... One hundred K. This guy was really thinking about, uh... Bet calling there with the Ace-King or something. 
Really glad he didn't. Would have had good equity no matter what, but just to win, obviously, is <clears throat> very precious. Seventy-seven remain. Half the field remains. Still a lot of late reg. Pav's got some chips. Mateos the Matador. Main event, followed by some other ones here on the side. Yo, I got this electric massage last night, you guys. Oh, big pot here. Set versus Ace Ten. Soy Boy Cuck gets it in debt. So I got a bunch of short stacks on my left. Blinds going up soon. Pretty one here. Tenos. Let's flat ace jack suited. You get three bit small or just shove, it seems fine, but like this hand is just gonna play so well as a call. And this guy shoves it in. Ooh. Okay, now I can fold. Shove snap call. No, I have a clear cut fold. Nice. We avoid getting in bad, would have sucked out, but pretty obvious how far behind I really was. Okay, got the birds here. A couple of aces in the 500. This guy's been playing a lot of pots. Oh my god, he rips it! What is this? What a fucking spot with the aces. Holy shit. Literally perfect. He has a chop potential. Boom! Literally the sickest, man. It's hoping for a three, but he just puts it in, and that means we're chip leading the bounty encore. That's fucking massive! Let's go! So our two biggest tournaments. I haven't played many tournaments today. I really like to prioritize. Oh, we got the black aces over here as well. Why not? You love to see it. Sure. Late position, 55. Let's do it. Wow, he just put it in like that. That was so crazy. He did it with Ace King. I don't think that's a good play with Ace King. I don't think it's a good play. Beautiful sight there. What about here? Okay. So we're chip leading the bounty encore. This is what happened last stream. We got the chip lead right away and we just like went wire to wire for seven G's. Now we're at a table. Some stacks are in play for the bounties. Boom! What a situation that was. Jump over here to the Queens in the 150. A lot of shorties here. One day I want to pull a big bounty in the mystery bounty. We've gotten some decent ones. But never any like gold chest viral clip bounties. 
Queens. Okay, honestly, we're a couple hours in. This is a, we're off to a really good start in this stream. The first 20 minutes was slow as shit. We're off to a really, really good start here. Theater with the call. That is an absolutely beautiful flop for my range. And an absolutely horrible flop for my hand. But still that small corner. No, it's slow down. We still beat some Queen Jack, some Jack 10. But not interested in. Uh, eh, we river straight. It's cool. I could see some of their spades being Jack Rays on the flop. I couldn't see this being a thing. We've got a half pot here. Try to get a crying call from the King 10, King Jack that made two pair. To get a crying call. God, it's such a weird spot here. I bet he check raises. Fives, eights, ace five, eight five suited, ace eight. Oh my god, do we ever win here? Was he ever bluffing? This would be a really good spot to win. <gasps> he was fucking bluffing. Are we cooking right now or what? Are we absolutely cooking? He was bluffing. He was legitimately just bluffing. Nice. Really crazy spot. So it was three ways. I bet the flop. He check raised. I call. He bet turn called. Like it's really rare people will go ham on these ace high boards from the big blind just because their range is so weak. Um, he was. He had the king deuce of spades. And so we got uh, the chip lead. Time to start knocking some people out of this thing. But in small here, out of the big. Big Papa Alexis. Calls. Nice, well, now we have a value bet spot. We're not gonna go big, not gonna go big. Just a block. A block for value. He raises, telling me the story of a flush. Reasonable. Just looking for the ace jack off call. Wow. Hmm. Big Papa Alexei. Just a flush, eh? Just a flush. I don't know, man. I mean, this is really, really quite nice. 
Huh, torn. Kind of torn about the situation. Okay, raises from UTG7, a flat, pretty bad flop. Hey, checks. We're really like checking here. We can start bluffing with like uh, stuff with less potential, basically. See, look at all this potential we have now. We have a king high flush draw. I'm down to check. I don't really want to try to get ace high to call. He's never fully an ace high on the turn. We would require two bets. What would I be repping? So let's just make a uh, flush here. No. King Jack High probably not winning here very often. Could shop. Gonna see a lot of ace high. Show me King Jack. Not the most thrilling hand. If that was on Game of Gold, that would have gotten cut. Check, 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 check. Ace high, King high. I got a hand here with the chip lead. Got this hand in the 1k. Can't call that with ace three of clubs. This guy raises, he bets. I think I'm gonna peel. Half pot in position. Six. Alright, you got it, you got it, you got it. Chill, chill, chill. Ace Queen suited in the 1k. Appreciate everybody watching. Tense moments, just trying to stay dialed in. Oh, big pot here. He raised, I shoves, ace king, baby. Bad flop, but I do believe in this hand. Bang! Now like a, uh... oh shit. Shit. Great turn, bad river. That was for heaps. This is an interesting spot. I raise cut off big blind calls. I flop top two, I bet now just like this this turn just can just absolutely fuck off to be honest. Really want to face a river check here. Dude, bad flop, great turn. Couldn't hold on the river. That was for heaps. That was for absolute stacks. Gonna find the open here. Just because we can really raise call button happily. Still have the chip lead at the table. Nobody's been knocked out of this thing. We've been playing for a while. Nobody's been knocked out of this thing.
I'm not going to see about that one. Button cut of hijack low jack raises off a 30, defending. Not the best flop. In a bet call here, blind and blind, it's kind of a funky short little stack situation, but we flop a four and uh, we are ready to die. A three is worse than a four. It's pretty funny he limp called this for a small size. Three just off. Kind of a funny hand. He makes a wheel that's actually perfectly acceptable. It's a small tournament. Take the bad beats of the small stakes. Two fifteen daily heater. Ooh, ace high here has some sort of pot share, surely. Ah, we we get a third each. It's a tough one for the dealer. Seven point one divided by three. You guys just join us. We're in the 1K mystery bounty here. 69 players left. And we are uh, really caked up here. A fantastic start here early in the bounty encore. I'm going to play raise here, blind on blind. Good start here in the 108 as well. No bounties yet, though. Welcome to my stream. My name is Kevin. I'm a full time poker player, reality TV slut, and. Uh, all around uh, D-Gen at heart. I'm gonna see bit here. I love skill-based gambling, and that's why I've decided to make a career at poker. And the career is going pretty well, actually. I'm very blessed. I think we shut down Queen Ten of Hearts here. Let's go here. This is a good one to raise, considering the bounty and everything. Cannot contest a shove. Lost that huge flip here in the mystery bounty. Can be getting this in very happily. When you get the shove through with the short stack like that, you pick up a big percentage of chips. The 1K's 50K starting stack, we were really short at the start. Really, really, really short. We got really lucky. Button cut off hijack low jack. This guy loves a good open, doesn't he? I'm going to play a pretty heavy three bet. Let's talk to Eugene. Eugene gives me a 44. Um, I will. Yeah, I'm still going to throw that a 44. Yes. Okay, three bet pot in position. I'm gonna play heavy bet on this texture. This is what I'm gonna check though. This is what I'm gonna check with second pair. He does pretty well on this board in this three bet pot, honestly. Okay, that card's pretty good for me. I have all the ace king. He does not, he still bets third. Calling third pair. Can we have a nine or a queen, please? I'll request it nicely. Okay. 
kind of hard for him to be bluffing this spot, but I have a nine. Yeah, this guy's so wild. Just peels this three bet out of position. Okay, we lose a three bet pot there, kind of tragic fashion, but we, but we win a pot here. Now we got aces. Big moment, guys. Aces in the 1K, tens in the 500. Everybody, everybody take a fucking, everybody stand up. This is a big moment. We need to stand up right now. Everybody stand up. This is a key moment on the session today. Aces. I'm going to get action here. I need some action here. I got kings over there as well. We need some action in the 1K. thinking about shoving. Ah, oh, shit. That's very sad. But we got queens now in the 1k. Flat from Andre. Could flat the birds here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Big one. We need to fade the trap here. And then this is like two nines or something, right? This is a big moment. I believe in the ladies here. Okay. Some dead money there. We got the ace queen there. He folds an ace there. We're going to hold here with the queens. Fading, dodging. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful! Boom! Hundred and sixty k. That is a stack. Keep the pairs coming. This one's a little smaller. We go ace, ace to queen, queen to three, three. We also win a nice one here in the 150. We got chips in the 1K. Yes, we do. Button cut off hijack, low jack opens. of equity I just want to call versus the one big blind bet all right we're gonna call here in the mystery bounty he shoves he's gonna have every suited ace Mr. Prince is not gonna bitch out on his shoves here We are ahead with the ace-10 currently. Now we are way, way, way behind. Jack. It's a shame. Going three streets for value here. He raised on the gun. I just flatted. I just flatted it, to be honest. Okay, sit down, sit down. That was really exciting. We went one street for value, two streets for value, and now here comes the third street for value. And I think we just go big. Main story is 150,000 in the 1K.
God, we've had so many chances to get chips in the 150, but... Can I wheel this stack back to victory? It's a good spot. Seven bigs in late position with ace 10. Doesn't necessarily have to be good news, but him just calling here is probably bad. Probably not the best. Oh my god, I'm a favorite. I love getting the money in good. Let's go. Double up. Come on, the birds. I'm standing, buddy. That was a huge moment. I'm standing. I'm standing. <laughs> Kevin, I love watching you play. I absolutely love your energy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I just made my 86-year-old grandma stand up. That was a huge, huge moment on the stream. We didn't get that much action with the aces, but we got it with the queens. We got it with the queens. This was a nice run of hands. Jack-10, we won. Aces, we win. Queens, we won a big one. This guy limped, I raised, this guy put in his 12 Biebers, and then this guy's in. I think I got a call. My hand's probably so trash multi-way, though. $37 bounty, $25 bounty, though. No, I'm going to save my chips. I just think it's going to be too crushed here. I'm going to save my chips. Ace 9 mm, Would have been fine against these hands, but... Got out of the way. No harm, no foul. Appreciate you. So our final 61 late range available for 34 minutes. It's going to be what? 23 pay. A lot of people are going to probably late range 30 pay around that area. Let's just keep collecting chips. And then 400 pay here. When the bounties are in play here, it'll be a guaranteed bounty of 35k. What's the guarantee on this one? Massive. It's a quarter million. People love the 150 mystery bounty. Double that down. Okay. Play a call here. Does this open the door? If he shoves, it does. Yeah, yeah. It does. Which would create some chaos, but. Flat the King Jack suited in the 500. Stephen Chu. Yes. World renowned. Ooh, this is going to be a shove. Because he's all in for seven, then this guy just calls. Unless it's some crazy trap. He's going to have all sorts of like shitty broadways and like shitty suited stuff. So I'm shoving. We cover him for a $50 bounty as well. Perfect. They're a bunch of dead money. It's a great spot no matter what. Great spot no matter what. Six. I don't want a six. I want a chop. I want a chop. good spot could start bluffing here no no I resisted the temptation I'm 
I'm just gonna lose days high. I'll, I'll just do that. Would have taken two bets to get him off of that one. We got a new uh, live video coming out tomorrow. I got a new live video. I got a 2K heads up tournament coming out tomorrow. I got some heads up stuff coming out. Really excited. King Queen suited here in the 1K. Pretty. Oh, so pretty. UTG7. Flat from Curl Mission. Okay. And a shove from Nine Bigs. Okay, let's get it in. Just thinking if he has Ace Queen here. Alright, we got the dead two bigs. Oh my god, we're a huge favorite. Hold it. This is a beautiful spot with the dead money as well. Fuck yeah, man! Boom! Come on, come on, come on. Massive. Massive. Almost up to 200k. Kind of a little uncomfortable spot. I was just going through his small blind flats and it just didn't seem super trappy to me. Just really didn't. Nice pot, we get it in good. Little dead money, that's the way I like it. Button opens off of 23. Defending. Definitely peeling here. We got a gut shot. Plus, we are going to be ahead of a variety of their button opens. Just don't really have many ASX. Most of my ASX shoves. How about a jack? There's a jack. Um, what do I do here? What does he have? I'm gonna go this size. Very weird facing arrays. I wish I thought about this decision a little bit more. Okay, we just win. Now over here, this is such an awkward spot where the only hand I lose to is King King. I don't know how you could call with worse though. I don't know how you could call with worse, but I'm all in. Nice pot, nice pot. Now here, you guys, I will be bet calling here in this three bet pot. He raised a three bet. Too much equity. He's going to have some queen 10 suited, some jack 10s. Even if he has a hand like nine 10, we're not dead versus the bounty. If he has ace nine or king nine that peeled, that would be kind of painful or like a set or dead or slow played aces, but. Bro, are we fucking cooking today or what? We're we're just frying. We're doing so many good things right now. Just 
Went in a lot of spots. The game is tight and sexy. Ooh, this is a huge pot. That was a huge pot. 400k pot at the stage of the tournament. What happened? Button race and he ripped. Oh, was, he three bet called it. Out of the big blinds. Very interesting. Very interesting that he used that one. Is it 8, 16, 24? Oh, no, no, sorry. Oh, it was he raised three bet and dude ripped from the BB. And then he called. It makes a little more sense. Was a little confused before. Okay, limp check. Flop jack high flush draw. We don't cover for the bounty by point one of a big blind. Great spot to bet and win. I love a stack in a 1k mystery bounty. Twenty-five minutes left of late rich. There will be no overlay today. The min cash in the mystery bounty is not a huge factor. It's actually less than a buy-in. I mean it will play a factor, of course, but it's less important in the mystery bounty than other tournaments. Ace ten in the five hundred. We don't have a bounty in this tournament yet. Small blind shoves, I will not fold. Just gonna defend, we really wanna keep in his jack 10 off, his ace 10. Sorry, his ace 10, duh. His king 10, that kind of thing, like ace five off. I have a straight flush draw, what a weird spot to have a straight flush draw. Button opens, I defends. Monotone connected board. I think calling this amount of equity is just good. Have I studied this exact spot all that often? It's a weird one. I have a straight flush. The second straight flush I've made today. The second straight flush I have made. Versus this size, I am just calling. Guys, I have a straight flush. Slow playing. It's had a sense who's going to bet the river a lot after half potting the turn. That was my sense. Oh, baby! All of it. I had really good reasons to believe he was going to bet that turn. Um, button cut of hijack. Mixing three bet or a call with this short sack here. I'll just call. And then we're definitely going to open spots like this in the mystery bounty. Got a raid from Beal Kid. What's up, man? Could go for the raise or call here. Let's go here. Kind of want to get it in versus curl, man, but I also just check this board a lot. Let's just check. I raise call, call.
Definitely checking here. Could I ever win? Okay, 200k here. Great, good, good shit. Just lost an interesting one here, but a nice stack in the 500. Good stacks on the outer tables as well. The arena is full of poker potential. Let's go here. Short, but we're getting close to the money. I'm gonna take this ace jack versus him. He's gonna have enough nonsense opens. I don't know if we have a lot of fold equity, but if he has to run it with a Broadway, it's not bad at all. Double me up here, baby. I like the hesitation. He's like, oh shit, I have King Jack off, kind of priced in. Okay, I call. He has Queen Jack off, we get it in good. Hold it here, baby. Hold it. Yes. Boom. Big time double. We get it in good again. I love when the money goes in good. Now this guy bets really small. He bets 10%. Given the backdoor royal, we must peel the 10%. And he might have absolutely fucked himself, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that he let me in with the backdoor king jack of clubs is absolute trouble for him. Why does he check here? What the fuck? Raise three bet flat. That is so confusing. I don't want to bet fold, but like, why would he check? Ah, really wanted to bang off the backdoor clubs. I guess I just take it and just like, I don't know with this hand. His pocket tens? He must have tens. I don't think he's gonna fold. He has to have tens here. Jacks, had to be jacks or tens. Are we just reading these ranges like absolutely perfectly today or what? Or do we just always know where our opponent's at? I mean, maybe I could have won the hand if I knew where my opponent was at. Yo, is that the Will Jaffe? Is that the Will Jaffe? What's up, Will? How you doing, bro? I believe Will Jaffe is in the chat. How you doing, mate? One of the all-time poker comedians. Got the aces here in the 108. You guys are welcome to the stream. You're new here. My name is Kmart. What's up? I started uh, as a broke kid in the micros in Canada, and now I'm taking on uh, poker's highest adventures. We went from losing at the micro stakes to like being very competitive at the high stakes. I'm just gonna make a small raise here. One oh eight bounty. Got a customer. Don't think kings, queens, jacks. Actually, they might slow play given that they are. My raising range is polar. I think I'm just going to make this a two street hand. And we're just going to go with this. Bet, peel a jack. I guess I check now. Just because there's not many bad rivers. And...
What a confusing spot. I don't even, I don't even, my brain's like broken right now for some reason. What a weird, confusing spot. Why don't I know what to do? I guess I just put it in, but what if he is like, he doesn't have any ace highs because he would just shove priest. So he doesn't have any ace highs. So he like has like a king's going to value shove. Fuck it. I'm going to let him bluff, man. He has so much like 10-8 and shit like that. If he checks back a queen, I literally cry tears tonight. If he checks back a queen, I cry tears. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. What the fuck was that hand? Fuck, man. I'm the worst. Well, my brain was so broken. We have a full house here versus Insta Prince. We get called by Ace Jack High. That's beautiful. We had an absolutely horrible hand here, followed by like pretty much max value. So, comes he, comes saw. The ying, the yang. The good, the bad. Come on, man. 100 away from the money here. As soon as we get in the money, bounties will be involved. 35k minimum bounty. We have this 1k stack. Nice stack in the 500. How do we just let him check back a queen there? It's so tragic. Nines. Okay. Helly Haven is all in. Let us hunt some orc tonight. Looks like meat is back on the menu. The 108. We got off to a good start here. I don't have a single bounty in this tournament yet. It's a little shocking. Cook, Kevin, cook. <laughs> we are cooking. At this point, he can flick it in. It'll be pretty all right with that. Unless he was like Jack-10 offsuit or something. Okay, side pot here. Ace Jack King 10. We gotta fade to Omaha. I guess we try to beat this hand. Oh my god. Just hold it in the side. Hold in the side pot. Not the Ace of Clubs. Okay. Alright, so we lose the main, but we get the 14k side. Plus the $25 bounty, so. Not bad. It's a bounty. 25 bucks. I'm going to take a quick break, guys. We have stacks everywhere. Stacks in the 1K. Appreciate you guys very much. Hit the follow button if you're on Twitch. Drop the sub button if you're on YouTube. Appreciate you guys watching and supporting. And uh, I'm going to play a game of gold episode. All right. That was an awesome hour of poker. That was an hour of power. We're going to come back and keep, uh, keep it going. Be right back. So we better ready to. You guys got to take some good notes. Yeah, no, I'll Farewell. definitely. We'll definitely. Yeah. Would actually be good if you write it down. I want yeah, that so notepad that, that they yeah. gave us the first day. We'll actually yeah, we actually prepared a little bit. So I shared my strategy to go through the most important points, like to prepare them for like what I think is the, the best strategy in the different scenarios, like whether it's steep stack or short stack. Um, so yeah, we did a little uh, preparation session and I know they picked it up very, very uh, quickly. And, and so I think we're very well prepared. I can't decide if this is a mistake or not. For him to go first? Yeah, I think I think it's I think we're making a mistake just allowing it to happen. But so I think that what we need to do, if he gets all the points and we go to the next round, we don't just automatically let him go the next round. I'll keep it like this. I love the team camaraderie, but I think it's fair to the next round, me and you flip to see who goes first and he goes third. Okay, yeah. I think yeah. I think that that's fair. We can't just give him the opportunity to get all the coins no, just I because agree. he's better. I agree. I still, I, I'm just a little irritated that, because I'm going last, and I'm a little irritated, but I'm fine with the decision. I'm, it's, I, I don't think I'm giving up that much, but I, I could be making a huge mistake, I don't know. The incentive structure of this TV show is kind of a bit misaligned. 
So we're not going to be trying to put the best player first and the worst player last, because uh, that would be unfair to whoever's going last and whoever's going second as well. Uh, so to make it the most fair we can, we're doing the most poker player thing we can, which is f***ing gamble for it. And we all want to go first. <laughs> yeah. So what we're doing is something called a flip, which is pure spontaneous luck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You've got deuces, dude. Seven, Seven for potential oh. nuts. So you want a diamond or a six? Ooh, a flush. flush. So he can redraw so you with a bigger flush. For a redraw. So I'm ahead now. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, and, and a bow. Eight as well. so oh King, King eight, top oh. full house. So Charlie second first, place, you second, me third. Well, I hope I don't get to play today, boys. <laughs> 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 I hope I don't get to play. You better get to work, guys. What I want to do is the fairest thing, and the other two were very happy to do that as well. So we just did a completely random flip. I came first, Sandy came second, Dave came third, and so be it. You're the, the final boss in Pokemon. The last gym. Oh, 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 you beat my teammates, and here I am. <laughs> I just like jump out at the table. Getting <laughs> level 99 Steelix or something. How crazy that, would that be, though, if like they just they kill me and Charlie, and then you come in and just destroy all three of them? The first guy just kills us. <laughs> and he just wiped all of them. I'm like, okay, Fedor, we meet again. <laughs> <laughs> Which side did I sit? Yeah. Hey. There is nothing I love more than playing life heads up. I really do think that I have a very good chance of, of having a huge edge on my opponents. So I really look forward to seeing if I can get that instrumental vibe going. Actually, I'm just excited to play. Like it's, I'm, you know, now we had, I think it's uh, now like 12 hours since I woke up. So I'm just uh, super excited to, to get to play some poker. How did you decide who goes first? Just talked about it and... Wow. You guys didn't flip? No. That's no. crazy. Guys on Fatal's team, if you're hearing this, I'm sorry, I think you kind of got a little bit taken advantage of. Well, we talked about it and... it's But it's like... Basically the same EV for the team, whichever order it goes, and then super high EV for whoever goes first. It's not that big of a difference, I think. It's a huge difference. Yovaro just got 90 coins, his teammates got nothing. One, one out of eight times that happens. Assuming no edge as well. <coughs> that could be like a lot less than that. Yo, how did I get busted from Game of Gold so fast? What's up, everybody? What up, Brett? Damn, you playing high? What's up, brother? No giveaway, didn't know. Cameron, did you get an appearance fee for the Trader Game of Gold? Uh, Traders, no Game of Gold. Yeah. Game of Gold was. I mean, I got a lot from both, but Game of Gold, they like treated us like kings. Like, we show up, they picked us up in like this like limo SUV. I was like, man, I felt like such a baller the way they took care of us in Game of Gold. All right, guys, let's keep going. Playing nice and chill. Got a bubble situation there. So late reg is going to be closed on this one right away. In eight minutes, we're going to have, like, what, top 30 pay? Let's start here. Got that bounty over there. Appreciate all the subs coming in. Yeah, curry! How you doing, your curry? This will be a raise in the 1K. Not anymore versus 3X. Okay, so over here, definitely want to check cutoff raises, button flats. We want to keep his kind of like weak cutoff range in. We can start bluffing with like nine ten of spades, nine seven of spades. Pick up a bad gut shot now. I check, you check, you check, I check. Ace ten no club. I don't think I should consider bluffing. Chop it up. So 50k starting stack, we got off to a bad start. We're down to 10,000 chips. We've spun it up nicely. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, streaming today. Oh, I always forget to turn down the music when I come back from break. Nice to be streaming today, you guys. To be honest, I have a lot of live poker content coming up. Expect a lot of shorts, live poker content on the YouTube channel. Of course, whenever I can, I'll come stream and try to fry in the online poker streets. But a lot of live poker coming up for me. I'm trying to gear up mentally, get ready for the Bahamas. Go to the Bahamas in the... Uh, Best mental place. My first tournament in the Bahamas is going to be the 25K. $10 million guaranteed. Live 25K. I'm very excited. Trying to manifest greatness. Nice King Jack 10. Bet check shove. Is that what happened? Nice hand to Bagam. So when the bounties come into play, I wonder what the biggest bounty is going to be. I mean, it's only like final 30. Pretty small field for a mystery bounty. Lit Reg ends in six minutes. Case okay, Jack here, UTG7. I'll see if these guys shove. It's a little bit annoying. Bagam, snap flats. I might start with a check here. Keep the pot a little bit smaller here. His small blind flat does have some suited hands. I uh, risk a spade coming off, but I'm gonna check back. It's a really clean turn card. He bets uh, large, very easy call. So it could be bluffing with a variety of things. King, queen of the king of spades. Sets two pairs. I mean, ace, queen as well, I guess. River Spade. Guess I will fold. Tough for him just to find a pure bluff here. And I have like tens with a spade, kings with a spade. If he bluffed me there, it's a really creative, nice bluff, but. I like my line, I just hate the river. A couple kings here, 108, pretty deep in this tournament. $50 bounty here off the short stack. I'm just gonna shove. No slow play here. We're just hoping that this open carries a little more weight. I mean, it seems like he's pretty aggressive, but given that he has a bigger bounty on his head, he's opening into every stack that covers him. We're not gonna three bet not all in. That looks like super netted. We're just gonna put the chips in and hope for the call. That is the best way to play this spot, I'm pretty sure. Let's go, man. 21 Ed. Too bad. I have a good stack here this whole time in the 500, but not knocking out any players is an issue. Five deuce actually has decent equity here. Not anymore. I didn't see how all these side pots are going to work out. Let's get scooped. Two minutes left. Long ways to go, just still have to keep accumulating chips. 4-3 suited. If I have two potatoes here or two nits, maybe, but... Or maybe if we were deeper, I find the open as well. Not gonna open off at 28 bigs though. Come on, we're 100 away from the money here. Bottom of the defend range here.
He raised another gun. I fled it. I think we just want to see a turn here with overcard backdoor diamonds. There's so many good turns. I would hate to like bet fold. And I don't have a lot of like top pair on this board either when I just flat pre. <clears throat> God, everyone's getting knocked out of this thing. I'm just getting massive FOMO. A PKO when everyone's just getting knocked out and you're sitting there with your thumb up your ass. It's okay, patience. Patience. Yeah, probably gonna play between three to six tournaments in the WSOP Bahamas. Not gonna live stream from there at all, but hopefully gonna make content every single day. Just bang off the 25k. 25k, 10 million dollar guarantee, that's the first event I'm playing. GVG's doing some sort of promo where if you wire $150,000, you can get a suite for 11 days. So I'm participating in that. There you go. All right. Late Reg is officially closed. 31 people pay. Going to be 20000 for first. 188k prize pool. Been cash less than the buy-in. Part of getting in the money is though the opportunity to win bounties. So let's fucking go right in the middle of the pack. Average stack. More ways to go into the money. Over here, this is the 150. We're 80 away from the money. Min cash here again, less than the the buy-in. So if we get a good chance to double up, we'll absolutely take it in the mystery bounty. Okay, if you guys are enjoying the show, some new people are here, guys, just please do me a favor. Hit the follow button on uh, Twitch. You can sub to me on YouTube. Also on social media, I show the behind the scenes and the highs and lows of professional poker. I never shy away. I post big wins. I post big losses. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'm going to open Ace-10 here. In the cutoff. And I'm gonna shove here. It's just too good of a spot when this guy flats. This is just like such a weak and, and passive flat. Victor Nile opening 2.5 is a little bit scarier. Ooh, Queen's in the 1k. But I will take the sevens here. Just gonna take it. Be pretty happy with it. Just this dead 2.5. Fold, Victor. Oh my god. We have a crazy spot in the 1k. Raise and a massive 3 bet. How is this King's Oasis? This is never King's Oasis. This is never King's Oasis. Big fucking spot in the 1k. It's never kings or aces. A lot of jacks, tens, ace, queen. First of all, we get that shove through. It's just, just beautiful. Huge pickup. Come on, queens. I love the ladies. I'm all in. No snap call. He's already put in 40,000 chips. Jacks or tens? Ace King, come on, Queens, hold it, baby. No, right in the window, Queen, Queen, Deuce, Deuce or Queen. Good game. God, we're never in bad shape there. At worst, we're flipping and we lose this key flip for 300 fucking K. Good game, everybody. Damn, poker's so sick. 
Just we're so short off the start. Oh my god, we're flipping to be a top 10 stack. Final 66. Oh, sigh. Big sigh. Big, big, big sigh. No one hurt. I just need a second to mourn it. I just need a second to mourn it. Fuck, man. All right. Well, let's win. Uh, let's win the 35k bounty and the the 150. I guess. Let's do that. I'm not gonna register too much more. I just have a volleyball game tonight. Bro, fucking bitch, ace in the window. Like, that was so big. I did so good in that tournament. I did so good in that tournament. Comes down to that flip. And his size is so obvious. Never has aces or kings. Never. Never. He never we can, we can see that ton of spot a million times. He never has aces or kings. Ever. That was fucking brutal. Just needed that one to go my way. I would have been in eighth position. Oh well, played the tournament like a champion. Okay, Ace Jack and a raise here. I'd be pretty excited to get it in versus the big blind. Onwards we press. Ooh. He rips. I'm gonna fold. Soft tournament, final 59. I think ace queen is the hand I call with. All right, the pain has subsided. There were many big all-ins in my career. That's just that one. I just really wanted that one to go my way. My, my, I'm not gonna lie. Emotionally, I was committed in the tournament. Like, what the hell? We're down to like a quarter of a starting stack. We come back, we lose this flip, final 66. Bro, and the way we'd be able to bubble, like pressure people in the bubble. Gold, damn it. The only appropriate response, again, is to win 35k here in the 150 version. So we will do our best. King, queen. If I get a really sexy spot to double up, I will take it before the money for sure. Playing really good poker today. Regardless of result, you guys, we're just we're having a good year. We're playing really well. Gotta be happy with the development. Things are going really well. Cut off opens. Uh just defend. I think is slightly better here. Let's hope and hit this a little harder. Size will get me out of dodge. Should I start tanking? I could. It's all right. Just that fucking ace in the window, man. We just didn't need that.
Andrew said Jack's Queen's Ace King, right? It had to be, bro. It had to be. I just really needed it to be like two Jacks. It's okay, we're gonna hunt this 35k bounty. Eight seven suited here. Patrick with a limp. This guy with a raise. I'm gonna appeal. Maybe this will help. Hopefully it will. Thank you very much. I missed who exactly that was. My alert's a little wonky as well. Okay, we flop a bad gut shot. Back to flush draw. What about the King Ten suited here? Well, these guys all cover me. Raising off a of 40. Take it down. Let's play this hand. Island raise call. Interesting. I don't have many A6, but we have gut shot queen high. Not going to bluff here. We do win sometimes. It's not a good river for me to bluff. Queen high ever? No. So close to the money, we pick up the king queen. be all in. This guy's just going to open unlimited. We can also just like make the money. But the man is just going to open unlimited here. Button cut of hijack, low jack. The shove spot's just like too good. Fuck the min cash, man. Let's go. I think the spot is just like undeniable. This dude opening low jack here in this spot with these chips. Boom! What a shove to get through. What a huge pickup. What a shove. What a fucking shove the balls. Just to ram it in there like that. What is going on here? I bet floppy calls. I'm gonna go for a greedy value bet. I'm gonna go for a greedy value bet. If he shoves, I just don't know how I feel about it. What is going on here? What is actually going on here? How do you check shove this river? Doesn't make any sense. have to see it, you guys. I just can't imagine. How do you check shove this river? Just guys, I just gotta see this one with the 10 here. I just gotta see it. Oh, just the nuts. Nice river check by him. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, we're gonna go with this hand over here. 
just he really he really did good work there with the uh, the check shoves. Something I'm gonna shove very thin, very very thin. What else I'm gonna shove here? Clubs I don't really buy. King I don't really buy. Queen Jack kind of the only hand we lose to. Ten nine suited. Pretty thin, but we take it. Fuck, I could have just lost less chips over here. It's okay. Okay, gonna be in the money right away. Can I just snag the 35k bounty? Can we do that? Hand for hand. Just absolutely brutal way to exit the 1k mystery bounty. Let's just snag the... Uh, The big prize here. <laughs> really happy to be streaming today, you guys. We've done really good. I think I played really well today. Besides that, maybe bet call could have could have lost less there. He just tricked me. He check ripped the the river for value. Interesting spot. Still have a nice stack here in the 500, even though I lack bounties. Hopefully this hand for hand doesn't take too long. Mr. Bounties are so fun because you can win insane amounts of money at any moment. That's That adds the thrill. Three hundred ninety-five is the min cash. That was a big shove to pick up uh, with the king queen there. I've had some good hits in mystery bounties, but lifetime I'm definitely down for sure. We final tabled the 1k mystery bounty that one time. It was a while ago now. Was that on Saturday? Final 14 here. I got 40k. Hand for hand. Gigi's not working, it's working for me. What up, Mr. Joker? What up, Unique? Checking in from Ontario, what's up, man? You got knocked out of the 1K? Yeah, dude, we just had this massive flip. It's crazy spot. How's it going today, Kmart? Really good, man. I mean, uh, we might not win money, but I played really well. I've been really focused. I have to be happy with the uh, the effort. I have a feeling like we might have a crack or two at this 35 Gs. How? What is? What's the? What? There's got to be one hand over there. That's... Kmart. Those days where you, Matt, and Jamie streamed in different rooms was great. Oh, yeah, dude. It's really fun. Do I still keep in touch? Loosely, like, not a crazy amount. A little more Matt. Matt's in Calgary. Not as much with Jamie, but... Yeah, really, uh... It's really fun. Young 20-year-olds, we just, like, moved all over Canada with our stream setups. Just trying to be professional poker players. It's fun times. Get over here, we got Ace-Queen. That hand snap finish. So we're going to be in the money next hand for sure. Three people are going to bust. Almost for sure. Raising ace queen off at 22. Button cut off hijack and low check. Don't have that big of a bounty on my head.
I'm going to see bet here. Very possible for me to have a nine. He's going to have more nines, of course. That small he snap calls. Snapped. Pretty good river. Let's see what he comes with. It's just so much like six five, eight ten, jack ten. Okay, we're officially in the money of the mystery bounty. So let's change the title. Kind of want a value bet here, but I'll just check and win. We are officially in the money in the 150. I don't have tons of chips, but the 35k could always be in play. And I'll try the ace queen suited. Shove. Yes, great spot. The flat, the shove. Very unlikely to be a trap here. Congratulations, you've reached the money. There is 164k in mystery bounties now. There's a 35k, 20k. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Okay. Good spot for an ace or a queen. There's a queen right there. This is a huge pot. Just gotta fade a jack or a king. No male paint cards. Boo, men. Patriarchy sucks. Bang. Let's go. So we get a $25 bounty there, and we essentially just get a massive pot. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a pot. We're 7 to 56 now. Fold, Victor. You're the only person I cover. Ooh, what a spot, guys. Look, he goes all in for 1.7. Nobody goes after it. So we get a free crack at a $37 bounty. Unfortunately dominated. A four or a five, the Robbie. Hmm. Five. That's a really good shot at the 37.50. Flatting here in the 500. Big raise from uh, big stack. Call, call. Just gonna fold. Really nowhere to go. Multi way. A little bit of no man's land. Okay, we just need all these big prizes to get in play. The min is 47. This guy won 1300. Slowly going in the wrong direction here, but we still got time. We're 11 of 14. No, I wanted him to stay alive. New table, please. I'm the shortest. $47 for you, my friend. The minimum. Break the table, please. Just need to double up. When I go all in, I'm just always getting called. I just need something. Let's 
Have GG people solved the maintenance problem? I haven't had any issues today. There's a crash months ago, but I haven't heard of another crash since. You know, the GG software is by far the best. 2.3k entered, 351 are left. It's probably just getting through like always, especially with this over flat. Never mind. I really hope he wins and we get a crack at this. I really hope the fives win. No, counterfeit. Theodore Lucas. All the big ones still in play. Theodore. Not bad. Every time I think of the name Theodore, I think of the dude who fell in love with his AI operating machine in uh, Her. Big Blind Special. Have you guys ever seen that movie, Her? Beautiful love story. A little bit weird. He's going to shove any two versus me, and I sadly have to fold. He's just always all in that spot. I would call pretty wide to go for the double. These hands are not going to help my cause. Can't even play limp, like they're just gonna shit on me. Ace, oh, new table. Still the shortest though. I would have shoved this, but not versus the Rays. Poor little boy and a poor little family. Seven three, that is an aggressive hunt. Looks like he might get rewarded. Wow, he shoved ten. This guy snapped into seven three. Ooh, twenty k is gone. Is it twenty G's? That moves me into the big blind. I need a hand soon. Two hundred fifty. 47, 100, 250, 580. Moves my ass right into the big blind. I keep getting small cards. This is not the spot for me to get small cards. Get it, bro. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm attempting to quote, get it. Get a peel and hopefully flap, flap, flap gin. I'm gonna peel here and hopefully flop a flush. So close. So very, very, very close. Check it through. Five. Interesting spot here. It's a 
Very bad river. Give up! Okay, we need to shift the energy. The last 30 minutes has not been great. We need to stand up. Last 30 minutes we've been going in the wrong direction here. And I just, I'm not going to stand it any longer. It's min raise here in the 500. Just have a min bounty on my head. Hold their pus. Okay, gut shot. Not gonna be aggressive here with 10-9 of diamonds. Just gonna check. A nine. Sure. Two pairs. This is our chance in the mystery bounty. We have our chance. Hmm, even against this, yes. I mean, what, what, what are we? Ooh, maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna take it. I'm gonna go three ways. My hand's gonna do good enough. Like, what? Like, what am I waiting here for? I could just like fold, try to find a better spot. But if I if I win this, I'm up to like 17 big blinds. We can actually do something. So let's let's go. Let's go. I think this is our best chance to get back in this thing and actually win some bounties. Let's make a flush. Wow, here we go. K, K, just need a queen. Where are the queens at? There's a queen right there, but we need another one. We need one more queen. Fuck, the ace is there too. It's not a horrible spot to get back. Queen! I'm out. Fuck, all these tournaments ended in just tragic fashion. We just didn't get much from them. $147. Does this guy win a lot of money? Oh wow, he did get a gold chest. Oh my god. The guy knocked me out and he would do this guy just won 35 grand. Congrats to you, bro. This guy just won 35,000. Nice hand. At least we witnessed it. I'm happy for him. 35 G's. That was my bounty, too. He knocked me out. That was madness. Oh, so frustrating, man. We crushed so hard. It's just tournaments, right? Like, we crush, we actually crushed so hard, build all these stacks, and, and we're not going to give up hope. We still have some chances, but, like, all of our fun ones kind of dissipated. They just got blown into the wind like a fucking fart after Taco Bell on a Sunday afternoon potluck picnic. You know what I mean? It's just like it just dispersed. Brutal. Couple of jacks here. Three games left. We're still in the 500, but unfortunately we've gone down to 20 big blinds. I'm going to jump in some uh, Club GG action here. I'm going to play some Club GG action. So this is a real money club for Alberta, North America, Canadian poker players. If you want to join, I know the people uh, running it. It's uh, legit. I've been in here blasting away all the time, so I'm going to play some uh, 
five card PLO. And then over here versus Pam, we're not gonna four bet. Just gonna peel versus the linear three betting range. And we're gonna see what's going on. Pavi, why are you checking on Queen? Queen six four. Why are you checking? I'm also going to play some two four. Five card PLO. You hit it, and we go. I got two pair, I have a straight draw. I have 51% equity. More than enough for me. Yeah, we'll run it twice. I win the first, and I scoop the second. I'm also playing a little two four in the cash game. Guys, you can play. These games are really, really good. The rake is really good. And uh, you can deposit like e-transfer crypto. If you want to join, jump in the, there's a telegram group and an agent will hook you up. Okay, five card PLO. I have top set. Unfortunately, I have a 10 blocking my boat outs. Here we go. Probably a good spot to get back in this one. Easy call. Come on. Should be way ahead. That's a perfect hand to see. Ace Jack versus Ace Four. Fifty percent. Hold. Hold. Guy okay, we ran really bad. I ran really bad in these big spots. Ace check, ace four. Let me win that one. I'm back up to 50k. I think I might hero call here. With just ace ten high. Mr. Pepe. Yeah, that was just a... Uh... Sobering end. A sobering end to all those like really thrilling uh, tournament spots. Very unlucky. It's all good, man. We're having just a massive year online. But I mean, like, uh,. This is one thing I continually try to work on, like really trying to measure my effort, success, focus. All these things are the things that matter, not necessarily the final results. Whereas today we're just gonna probably book a loss. Not crazy though, you guys saw how I operated though. We were just in like five tournaments, really focused, like really got it in good all day. And just a little salty, bro. How do, how do, how do, how do I lose there? Ace Jack, Ace Four, like, like come on, man. Like, come on, man. I'm gonna value bet here with the straight. There's no flush out there. There's no flush out there. Nice.
So got some games here though. We can still make some money. Raise Queen Nine here. We can also make some money in the cash games, but Jesus, like what was that? Okay, a couple of kings. This is a 108 tournament. I got fifty dollars in bounties. Let's raise it up and uh, let's get it popping. Oh man! Oh man, that's a $70 bounty. What a great spot to see the rip. Versus Ace Queen, hold it here at Kings. Top set. Boom! $70 bounty. That is the stack I wanted action from. Hold on, man! We got totally fucked in the big spots, but if we can grind out a victory here. I used to have a massive mental issue leak with that. If I ever got like fucked in like my big tournaments, I was just a basket case and I could never like close up the session. But now, that was juicy, $70 bounty. So now we're 25% of the field remaining here. Hold on, hold on just a second. And now I got the nines, Lint Master. What are you doing, Lint Master? I have a set. I have a set, and this is a board he's going to hit a lot. And we're going to triple this one off into the abyss. I'm going to bet 10k if he calls. It'll be 32 in the middle and shoving pot on the river. The way he snap called, would he not consider... I'm all in. I have this guy beat. I have him beat. The backdoor flush is the only concern, but we also have the nine of, uh, we're good. We're good here. We're gonna be in a really sexy spot in this tournament if we can, uh... Get the call here. King Queen? Queen 10? The Lint Master. He's gonna call. He is going to fucking call this. Okay. All right, we're gonna get this in. What do I got? I don't have much. I don't have much. I have fifty percent though. I lose, and I lose. Ah, these guys are crushing me in PLO so far. I got good value here in the two four cash game. Okay, I got top two. Not really much else. Bluffing down here. Nice. Got a good bluff through. With just seven high. 
you guys want to come play with me, I'm sitting 50 cent, one dollar, and uh, two four here in the club, exclamation club. Tournaments have been overlaying mostly. It's a good club. I think some other uh, poker uh, influencers are going to start playing on it as well. I'm really kind of reinvigorated by this little like uh, situation I've got going here. Sevens over here. All in Pav. How's my man Pavy doing? I know he had a kid. He doesn't stream like he used to. So one of the reasons Peely and I decided to go our separate ways is she really wanted a family pretty soon and I was like, oh, I just... I thought I did for a long time, but then... It was pretty clear that I, I didn't. Pili's doing really good, you guys. If anyone's wondering, Pili's doing really good. Really proud of her. She's doing fucking awesome, which is great to see. I have two pairs here, but it's tender. So I was kind of tender in these spots. Probably check. Try to learn how to play this game, honestly. I'll be back in two seconds. I'm just going to put a... Uh on. Nice flop here in the 2 4. That's how you're supposed to bluff in this game, right? The blockers and stuff. That's how she's done. All right, I got a little sweater on. Arm breaking this tournament's got a chance. How is my online going this year? Good. I'm up about uh, 85k, 90k, somewhere in that region. Haven't put as much volume in as possible. Kmart, why haven't you been playing a ton online? Oh, well. I have just recently moved. I've just recently sold a house. Fuck it, we got double suited, 10, 9, 8, 6, 4, 5 card PLO. How bad can it be? How bad can it be? I just, you know, shot like multiple reality shows, moved, got a divorce. 50-50. I love this game. It's always 50-50. If the money goes in twice, I'm a huge favorite here. Yeah, look at that. I just, I just win the first. Gonna win the second. No. He makes a full house. I just love it. No, no matter what the hands are, it's about 50-50 pre-flop. Any hand can win. So yeah, obviously I haven't put in as much volume as I've wanted to. Given the multiple reality shows, the divorce. If you guys didn't know, uh, I was just in a marriage. I was with Peely for nine years, married for two. We just recently decided to go our separate ways, and we've been uh, ultra supportive through all of it. Still two tournaments left here. Um, should I play this? the hyper? The Wednesday hyper? Yeah, I will. 
fire one bullet. Ooh, top set here in a three bet pot. Top setter sins. LPL. I hope he doesn't have top set now. Very dead if he is top set. Nah, I just got Let's put it in now. But it's good, man. I, as hard as that shit was, like, uh, an awesome support system. And I feel amazing. I feel like I'm right in the perfect spot where I should be. Ooh, this is a good flop. Mr. Luck Norris. Uh, I have pair and flush draw. I threw that from the big. And we're jumping in the 250 hyper here. Yeah, hung out with Peel the other day and we kind of had a laugh about it. I helped her move and she's like, man, she's like, I really needed to split from you too. And as painful as it was, like, we've come out the other side and it's just 100% the right decision. It was really weird though. It was really weird that people were like, so... In... Like, so people are so emotionally invested in our relationship. We got a lot of hate. People were like, no, like, we had so many... People trying to like give us advice. Like, guys, it's really weird. It's really weird. I don't mind being a public person with poker or reality shows, no problem. But when it got to that level of like personal relationship, it's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. 250 daily. Wednesday saver. You guys just join us, man. We had fucking stacks everywhere. We just got really screwed in some big, like, key moments. But still a few games. Raising here, small blind flats. Good spot. I'm gonna bet here. After both players have checked a couple of times, checks flop, calls turn. I guess he just has a lot of like. I'm just gonna snap call the check call. Ah, he just had a three aim. Just like always calling in that spot. Here we go, guys. He shoves six. Bounty. A bounty on the line. Nice. Ace 10, Queen 7 for a bounty and chips. Come on, baby. Good flop for me, 85% equity. <clears throat> no. All right, we have the nuts here. Hopefully we're not getting free rolled. 72% for a huge pot. Let's run it twice, yes. One, two. Huge pot. I've lost a lot of money in this club in PLO, so I'm like, uh, Okay with winning some, some pots back. Scoop. Okay, let's get back over here. Button raises, I flat. We also have the king of hearts.
that was nice to scoop that. Uh, yeah, this is the club we play on if anyone wants to join the poker arena. The poker arena. Big stack here. Check, 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 block. Hmm, obviously a lot of Queen X. Price might be right. Obviously, like a lot of Queen Ten and stuff, yeah. Of course, it's Queen Ten. Here in the 250 as well. I'm a sucker for those small bets. Okay, top set here. PLO, I got a flush draw thing going on. It's an interesting turn. Do I have a straight? Feels like it. I don't. I do have a full house. Hey! Ooh, we turned a straight. This game's crazy. Five card PLO is uh, cool, cool. Two hold'em tournaments. Three hold'em tournaments. Okay, raise cut off here with Queen Jack. This is the 108. That is a horrible flop. Go down here. This 250 hyper has never been kind to me, and it's always like created so much rage in my heart. But today I was like, you know, I just I looked at it in the lobby and it just looked a little different. Let's give it a shot. Now it has checked to me. We're gonna bet this turn with top pair. Kind of be a nasty spot to get check raised. Let's go up here, main event, raise flat, we're 12 away from the money, definitely gonna peel here. And that's a very bad flop. Now down here, they raise, I peel. I'm gonna start betting. Like even if they raise, we can just peel this hand with nut gut shot over card. I like the idea of betting, it's a very good board for me. He raised small blind, I flatted. Turn can be very aggressive as well. Overall, just like a really good spot to bluff. So I will bluff. River, King of Hearts. 
I'm bluffing. I think I gotta bluff this hand, especially with the heart in my hand. Especially with the heart in my hand. Did not work. What do you call down with? Just the J5. Nice hand. A shame. Maybe not the best river to bluff. I mean, the heart's really good, but the king not as much. Fuck! Puts me in a bad spot. Had some decent equity versus this hand. I went to bet, bet, bet. Seems fine. Impossible for him to have a flush. Really hard for him to have a king. It's really hard for me to... Uh, I do have a lot of bluffs, though. Queen 10, queen 9, 9, 7, 6, 5. Like, I do... I get it. I get the call. I have a lot of bluffs. Let's raise the king 6 near the bottom of the opening range, but usually going to be in there. Play a lot of hands on the button. Doing pretty well in the PLO 5 today, honestly. Hitting some boards. I'm pretty bad at this game overall. Just gotta finish it off strong, boys and girls. It's 4 p.m. God, I really needed the Raiders to, uh, I really needed the Raiders to beat the Dolphins last night. That would have been really exciting. The Raiders have a little bit of juice to them. Very exciting. They had a chance to beat the Dolphins. They had a chance. I'm going to go all in here. In the PLO. I really want Mr. TTT Triss to fold. As I have... Uh, Got shot, diamonds. I don't think he's very strong here though. Nice. We win the side at least. We get wrecked in the main. What a crazy game. Five card PLO. What does this guy have? This hand is kind of fun. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5. Fuck it. 3 bet. And 10 away from the money, I got my favorite hold'em hand. <laughs> Here we go again! Hopefully he doesn't have hearts. Ah, 28%. That's very bad. 28%. I lose. And I lose. God, I flopped like flush draw, straight draws. I had like this rap thing going on. I raise, call, call. 10 away from money. I'm going to start with check here. And down here I have a full house. He just never really has a deuce here. I'm going to start betting, building myself. But he had nothing. Flop checks around, no reason to be aggressive with this hand. I think Ace King High has some worthy showdown here. A two big blind bet. Oh, Mr. Yeti, you cheeky bugger. I will pay the two bigs. What is it, like jack three or something? Pocket fours, but. A weak queen. What's going on over here? He bet into multiple people. Check turn. Reaver. 
Mm, just a queen makes sense. But I'm playing ace, ace, king, king. I don't think I'm going to fold this hand. Versus this guy in this spot. Look, we caught him bluffing. We caught a bluffer. Nice. So this is a 108 over here. We do have 118 in bounties. Mean cash is 143. Nice prize of like three Gs up top. $70 bounty here, four bigs. Worth paying uh, extra attention to. Come on. Got cut bluff in here, but trying to maintain composure, bring it back. Okay, big blind here. Get a good hand here, it'd be key. No, I need him to survive. Okay, I have a full house here. Don't think he has aces. So we'll lose to jacks. I lose to pocket jacks here. What a nice turn card. Don't have pocket jacks. Just have jack 10. Five card PLO, the fear of the boat over boat. Mr. Webatron. Tens full of aces. Hell of a hand. Webatron versus the Kmart. It's King Queen, that'll work. Huge pot. Gonna squeeze not all in here. It looks super strong, but. Should I have just shoved versus raise call? No. Huge pot. Huge, huge, huge pot in the five card PLO. Okay, it's like a little scary sometimes, but it's gotta be good, right? Here we go with the queens. There's a little hesitation there. I kind of like that. Ah, that's the classic Ace King suited. We saw this. This is the hand we had near the bubble of the 1K. Ace King really uh, beat my face in. I hate this 250 hyper. I don't even know why I register it. I don't know why I did that at all. I never liked that tournament. I've never enjoyed it. 
I like all the tournaments on GG, just not that one. Given the looming bubble and the shortness of them, I'm going to raise queen six. That was a huge pot in the PLO five. Queen six raise just got through. Now, a couple of tens. Hmm. Given the 112, this, do I trap or do I like three bet call? No, I'm going to flat. Gonna hit him with the old slow play. Now we have tens. On this crazy board. I'm going to bet, but this feels dangerous, right? Like, he has a huge range advantage here. He could easily check, like, some over pairs still. But it's also a super vulnerable hand to check. Like, it's absolutely a terrifying hand to check. One of those spots, bet or check, both feel a little bit queasy. Four off the money. Just check rips. And I think I will go for this hand. I think we'll go for the stack. Uh, why would you check her up a set to pair? Let's go. Big pot. Deuces. This is very unfortunate. Nice hand. Got 118 in bounties. Brutal. Very, very sad. He check ripped the sizzle. Oh. Really savage end in some of our tournaments today. A really, really savage end in some of our tournaments today. Really tough spot. Four away from the money makes it interesting, but small field tournament, I don't know. I'm either gonna check, I just don't think I'm bet folding that hand. I just don't think I'm bet folding that hand. All right, that's it, bro. We busted our tournaments. I got one left. Kmart, I'm sad to see you off the Traders Kennedy. You were killing it. I know, dude. What's the reason Game of Gold is such a good show? People like it. It's like new, innovative. It's different for poker. You get a little more like the personalities coming through. That's why people like are really enjoying it. All right, that's all I got, you guys. I only have one table left, but I actually have some stuff to do. Um... Yeah, man. Very disappointing end to some of the tournaments today. So we lose like, what, a couple thousand? As we basically had a really good chance in the 1K. Made the money the 150. I made a little bit of money back here in the cash games. This is my last tournament left, but I'm gonna wrap up the stream, you guys. Played pretty well today, man. It was really nice and focused, honestly. I was really happy with the effort we brought. I just, like, really crushed, built up stacks, and then we just got wrecked in some big spots, which is kind of what happens. But let's show this hand. I raise button. Both blinds call. Check back flop. I like betting now. Top pair plus the queen of diamonds. Tomorrow I got a brand new live poker YouTube video coming out, which is really exciting. We have a bunch of new shorts out recently as well, if you guys want to check those out. Playing a bunch of live poker, honestly. There will be some streams here and there, but I got a bunch of live tournaments in Edmonton right away. And we're gearing up for the Bahamas, where I'm going to be playing pretty big, starting with the 25k, the main event, all this stuff. And yeah, just like this summer when we had all the live poker content flowing, I'm really excited to get... Uh, 
back with the live poker uploads. It's kind of where me and my team are thinking of in, in our brain. Awesome stream, followed by a somewhat uh, anticlimactic ending, but tried our best, boys and girls. Dude, literally that one flip goes different. Maybe we're just like shipping the 1K mystery bounty. I keep uh, wanting to log off, but I keep having these like really interesting last hands. Iris cut off big blind defense. Yeah, I just have one tournament left. I'm gonna bet big size. Turn ace. Gonna be a heavy bet for me, but uh, check this specific hand. And mostly gonna be calling river. Kind of hard for him to have an ace, especially when I bet big on the flop. I guess ace deuce, ace seven, ace nine. Some six eight gets there. Hmm. I think we probably have to click the call button. Like eight ten misses we don't block, jack ten misses we don't block. A little bit nervous about the two pair, ace nine, ace seven, ace deuce. But I think we'll click the call button with king nine here. Good read, good hand. Really happy with it. All right, maybe we'll ship this last one. Didn't play a ton of tournaments today, and uh, we won lots of pots, but a little bittersweet ending. All right, boys and girls, take care. You can follow me on social media. Going to the Bahamas right away. Instagram, Twitter are going to be very active. I'm very excited for the live poker tournaments coming up. And, uh, you know, all the poker tournaments. And, dude, the poker world's booming, bro. And I'm just right in the thick of it. And thank you guys for supporting me. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, stream more, stream more, stream more. That is, will, and will always be a part of what I do. But, um, yeah, there's just a bunch of other shit going on. That's all very exciting. I have a set here, which is exciting. And he bets. Let's check call. The Dark Knight doesn't shove pre and bets half pawn on the flop. It's really interesting. And uh, I'm all in. Versus the Dark Knight with my full house. His flop bet like totally surprised me. One last PLO hand here. I have King Six versus the bank. Don't have aces. He has aces. Okay, much love, everybody. Thank you for a very fun stream. Energy was great. Vibes were great. Appreciate y'all. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.